Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I am really, really excited for this video because it's been a long requested video to do, which is creating a REST API with Express. And we also are going to be using Fauna. Throughout this video, you will not only learn how to build a REST API, but also to how to use Fauna. So you can take these skills and literally build any other projects you want, which is pretty empowering if you ask me. Also, make sure to click the link in the description for Fauna so you can follow along too. I find it's always best in tutorials to follow along. Before we get started though, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Shout out to some of these subscribers here. Thank you for your comments, feedback, questions, love, support, just for being amazing. Okay, let's get started. I want to say a big shout out to Fauna. Thank you for sponsoring this video. For those of you who aren't familiar with Fauna, it is a flexible and secure database that is delivered through a scalable API or as a scalable API. I'm really excited to be using Fauna today and you're definitely going to see more tutorials on my channel using Fauna because of its flexibility, its secureness, and also to how scalable it is. Here are some other reasons I chose Fauna. One of the main things that drew me to using Fauna is that it is a serverless utility. So once it's plugged in, it delivers limitless capacity. It's not a DBAS or cluster that you have to manage. Also, it's secure and scalable. I also really liked how it is connectionless and accessible directly from the browser or mobile clients. It's kind of a win-win. You can simplify code and ship faster with it. And lastly, it is a unique indexed document system that gives you the best of both worlds for SQL and NoSQL. So as you can see, there are a lot of positives to using Fauna and it is extremely developer friendly. For this tutorial, we are going to be using the test of time tutorial of all tutorials, which is Twitter. And I chose this because I think it's a really good way to kind of like a to-do list in the sense that it's a good way to, um, you know, use something that we are all familiar with, but also to something that can be applied to so many other projects. For example, how you get tweets, how you post tweets, different things like that, that really can be applicable to whatever project you are working on. My goal for this was that you can leave this tutorial with the skills required and feel confident that you can take these skills and apply them to your own project. Okay, enough of me talking, let's get started. To do is open up our IDE. For myself, I'm using VS Code. And we also want to make sure we have a version of Node installed. To check if you have Node installed, all you need to do is go Node-V. For myself, as you can see, I have it installed. However, if you don't have it installed, I'll put up on the screen here where to go to install it. Okay, next thing I want to do is install the Fauna extension. Okay, next up, we need to create an empty NPM project. To do so, we run npm init-y. Okay, now that we have that installed, we need to install Fauna DB and Express. Okay, you can see now we have our package.json and our node modules. Let's also add a source folder with an index file, and that is where we are going to write all of our source code. Now we want to ensure we are able to serve all of our API endpoints and of course we do that with Express. Next up, we also need to require Fauna, so let's go. Okay, now we need to find a way to connect our source code to the actual Fauna database. To do so, we need to first of all, find a client key. To find our secret key, if you haven't already done so, make sure to go to Fauna and create a new database. For me, I created Twitter DB. 
navigate to security and new key. Okay, now that we have Fauna installed, we have Express installed, we have Node installed, let's get our server up and running. To do so, let's go app.listen. And now we need to choose a port, let's do 3030, but it's whatever you really want to do. And let's log something out to make sure it's running. Okay, let's go ahead and run this. To start the server, we need to ensure that we are in our source folder and access index.js. Hmm, we're getting an error here. Let's check it out. Fauna DB is not defined. Oh, as you can see, I called it Fauna and I'm using Fauna DB here. Let's fix that. Okay, let's try again. Perfect, we are listening on 3030. Okay, now that we have the server up and running, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about FQL or Fauna Query Language. This is something we are going to be using throughout the project, especially the functions of it. And I have the docs pulled up here for Fauna, which I will also link down below in the description. As you can see here, Fauna Query Language or FQL is the native API for querying Fauna. And in the documentation, it goes through different parts of it from the cheat sheet, data types, databases, collections, all the way to built-in functions. For the first FQL function we are going to use is going to be get. So let's start by going const. We're going to make this an object because there is going to be more uh, functions that we are adding, but to start with, let's add get. Okay, now it's time to use express again. Let's set up an endpoint that will read an individual tweet. Okay, as I mentioned for this endpoint, it's to read a single tweet or single document. And because Fauna returns a promise, we are going to make this async. Okay, and this is where the get function comes in to read a single document. And as you can see, we use the ref function, which we will also need to add uh, to reference a single document we want. In this case, it is tweets. Okay, let's also make sure we add ref. Also, we can't forget to pass in the rec params.id. This will be passed in the URL. Okay, so before we can test it out, we need to go back to Fauna and add a new collection for tweets. We are back in Fauna. Let's go to collections, new collection. Collection name, as we mentioned in our code, is tweets. Next, let's create a new document, which will have some text in it. For this text, let's say, hi friends. Let's go ahead and save it. And copy the document ID. So first we type in localhost 3030 slash tweet, and then that document ID. And as you can see here, we have we are getting the text, hi friends. Doesn't look pretty, but we're getting it, which is a big win. One thing we forgot to do, which I just did, was make sure you also add collection to the different functions we are going to be using. Let's do something to create tweets.
Next up, we need to use the create function. Tell it what collection we want. And also pass it whatever data we want. Don't forget to add create and import it. Oh, and you can see here I named it document and this doc, let's change that document. Okay, now that we have created this, we need to create a user's collection as well because we are posting from a user. So let's go back to Fauna. As you can see, I created the user's collection. All I did was simply once again, go to new collection, users and save. I've already done this, so I won't do this again, but you get the idea. From here, I'm going to go into indexes, new index, and select collection. I'm going to use users and the index. I'm going to make an index name. Let's call this user name terms. It's just going to be data.name. Now that I've created a user's collection, let's go into that collection and create a new document. For this document, I want to have my name and email. I'm going to choose my dog's name, Mr. Muggs. And email Mr. Muggs at mugs.com, of course. Oh, and make sure as well to do not do what I just did, which is not adding strings around them or making them into strings. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now let's go into indexes, new index. We're going to use the users collection. Index name is going to be user underscore name because the goal of this is to get the data.name. So terms would be data.name. And let's save. Okay, now let's test this out. Actually, before we even get there, make sure you have um, match and index and get and select all up here as well or else of course it will not work so we just ran it again and then to test this one out though i'm going to use postman um, to do localhost 3030 slash tweet to get the tweet okay so in postman as you can see here i have post localhost 3030 slash tweet and i already ran it but we'll run it again for you and as you can see here we have our new text hello world see back in collections we have our hello world I want to show you how to use functions uh, built into Fauna, and this is really great for improving code reusability and avoiding large data transfers. For this, let's do the example of getting a user and their tweets. Let's name this function get user. Yeah, just get user is good. The role I'm going to choose is server. They don't need admin permissions. And you can see here, they've already kind of given an example of what it should look like. So let's just kind of structure this out. Currently they just have X in there, but we want to get the user. And instead of using the add function, we actually want to use select function. There we go. And we are selecting the ref. Oops. And then actually let's kind of structure this out a little bit better. Select, we're going to take out rep here. app and reference this function that we just created okay before we do anything we need to import call and also too we need to import function 
but because function is built into JavaScript, we need to reference function as something else. So we do that by colon and then name it something else. Actually, let's just do fn. Okay, next, let's start building out the function. And we need to ensure we have paginate. And this is where we can use the function that we just built. Now let's use the function we just built, which is get user. And the user we are trying to get is the famous Mr. Mugs. And now that we have it down here, we can reuse this. So copy, go back to our post, and then user, instead of doing all of this, can simply call the function again. Okay, I'm going to wrap up the tutorial here. I feel like I could make this video hours long because there is so much to do and so much that we can explore, but I really wanted to cover some of the fundamentals and basics. I hope you all enjoyed going through it and found it very valuable. I linked Fauna down in the description, so if you haven't already gone to check them out, make sure to do so. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Give this video a thumbs up and leave in the comments other videos or tutorials that you would like to see. Thanks everyone.